Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to COBOL, where we will delimit the string or you can say we where, where we will concatenate two strings on this is of some particular character. Okay, so in this session, like I'll firstly walk you through the code, we will understand each and every line written over there. And then later on, after understanding the logic, we will see the output as well, like how the, we are getting the output and uh, what are the method that we are using in order to concatenate the string. Okay, so let's start. Uh, here you can see I have already created one program with the name test pgm1. So this is the demo program that we are going to use for our demo purpose. So I'm taking option two over here for test pgm1. Here we can see, uh, firstly we have initiated the identification division. Now what is identification division? Whenever user wants to store some program identity related information, it will be stored under this identification division itself. Okay. So although like these all things we have discussed separately uh, in a proper manner, but still I am re just repeating it for those who are uh, directly referring the session so that, have so that they have at least some idea like what is identification division. So in this identification division, first thing we have put is a uh, program ID, which is test pgm1, uh, which is denoting the program name. You can see the program name is test pgm1 and here also we have test pgm1. Then we have author, which is denoting author name. So author name is coming like this, text share math. Okay. Now below to this, what we are doing, we have initiated uh, some comment line. Now how to initiate the comment line? To initiate the comment line, you can simply put a strict on 7th position and from there, whatever, uh, from there, like whatever, after that, whatever you will write will be considered as your commented line. So here on 7th position, I have put a strict and then you can see only on these three lines, 5, 6 and 7, we have uh, mentioned it as a comment just to show you the top topic of today's session, which is tr string handling in COBOL. So mainly we are using a uh, string concatenation method in order to handle the string clear. So this is these three line are the commented line. Then we have data division. Now what is data division? Whenever you want to write or utilize some uh, variable in your program, then you will write it in under the data division because here you can see under data division, we have data, we have working storage section, which is used to store all the variables that we are going to use throughout the program. So let's see how many variables we have declared here and how we are declaring it. So on line number two, 12, we have deleted, uh, declared one variable, which is st str1. So for this, what we have, uh, firstly, we are uh, putting the level number, which is 01. Then we have data name or you can say the variable name. So level number is mainly denoting that it is a higher data hierarchy and variable is showing the data name is showing the variable name. Then we have PIC for picture clause X of 10, which is alphanumeric 10. And then we have value, which is a value clause tech of hash one, two, three. Okay. So if I explain you in a simpler term, then you can simply say that we have declared firstly the level number as 01 which is denoting the higher data hierarchy then we have str1 which is nothing but the data name or you can say the variable name by which you can access this variable throughout the program then x of 10 is denoting the uh, size and data type of this variable which is 10 and x means alphanumeric clear so this is just a data type and size x of 10 means alphanumeric of 10 then we are using value clause value clause is always a optional clause but here for this example we need to initialize some value that's why i'm using value clause and inside this variable i have stored the value as tech t e c h hash one two three tech hash one two three okay fine then we have a second line where we are de declaring another variable which is str2 here what we are doing we have initialized the uh, we have initiated the variable like z uh, 01 which is a level number then we have str2 which is a variable so this is a data name and then st after str2 we are declaring the picture clause pic is for picture clause okay which is of x of 10 
then we are using value clause to initialize the value so you can see sharmit hash 456 okay so these two variable we have declared which is to store the value inside this str1 and str2 now our main target is to concatenate these two string and store it into another variable so to store it into another variable we need one variable so on line number 14 I have declared another variable which is 01 for higher data hierarchy level number then we have result variable and then PIC x of 40 okay so what it will do uh, like with this line we have just declared one variable which is result variable and the size of this variable is x of 40 all right so we are ready with all three variables that we are going to use for this demo now it's time to use it for the main logic so whenever we want to write a main logic we initiate the procedure division so from line number 16 we have initiated the procedure division and below to this uh, division we are using the actual logic that is concatenating two string so how we are conc concatenating it firstly you need to write a string then your first variable which is str1 here we are using delimited by and then the character so whatever character you will put here will be considered for delimiting your string okay so string str1 delimited by hash str2 delimited by hash so this is the second string into result so what this uh, what these three line will do it will firstly look for str1 okay so in str1 we have this data tch hash 1 2 3 so it will delimit it by hash so it will pick only this part okay tch because after that we have hash so it will break it from here then it will go for second string delimited by hash sharmit and hash so it will consider only this part and then the selected part will be concatenated and stored it into the variable result and then we are using and string to end this string part okay so in short you can say it is concatenating both the string till it finds hash and whatever the value it collected it will be concatenated and stored into the result variable and then we are displaying it with as like this concatenated a string result okay and then we are doing stop run so I think now it is clear like how we are utilizing it so let me show you the output so for compilation you can take option 14 but I'm not going to compile it because this is already compiled so I'll just take back from here and I am directly calling it but you can take option 14 to compile the source and then we can call it so here you can see we have got the concatenator string output as tech of Shermit, tech Shermit. clear so this is the reason uh, why we are using this uh, string method or you can say string why we are manipulating the string in order to concatenate the output now here I want to tell you one thing that it is not always fixed that you are supposed to use hash symbol here okay you can use any character whatever character like let's say if I want to delimit it by E so I can use it so simply here you can put E okay and similarly here if you want to delimit it by R so you can put R let me try if there is any storage issue then we might get some error while compilation because uh, there is some issue with my system so let me compile it and call it so once I call this program you will see the output is coming like TSHA why because we have concatenated uh, the string on the by delimited E and delimited R so first part contains this part so it from the here it will pick only TE only T because after E it breaks the string and here it picks SHA and that's the reason we have got the output as TSHA okay so as per your requirement you can select your limited uh, character uh, and then on the basis of that character you can easily uh, concatenate your string so I hope this uh, process is clear to all of you and you can use the same uh, approach in order to uh, concatenate long string as well so it is up to you like how you are going to utilize it because the main thing like in previous session also we discussed various um, methods to uh, to concatenate the strings right so same thing uh, you can utilize whenever like you can de delimit it by, it by size character space okay 
so these are the all method that we can use in order to uh, concatenate string in COBOL program so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech chairman